What's up, y'all? It's Boss Lady here. I'm back with another video. I'm in my mumu gown. I'm a little tired. Um, I'm so exhausted, you know. Um, but I'm in here to deliver this message. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been around here acting like Moses. Yeah, God told me to deliver a message so y'all can get this message. But I was, no, God, I ain't qualified or... No, God, people going to hate me. But I'm mean, in this era. I don't care. A lot of people going to hate me for this message. I don't care. Um, I'm here to do what the Lord told me to do. So you can take it up with God. Big G. <laughs> so the message was like, you know, I used to be a quiet kid. I always was observing. And I, I was always the kid that, that was so quiet that I was, like I said, I was in rooms that I wasn't supposed to be in and things that were said I wasn't supposed to hear. But that's what happened when you got quiet kids around you. And I was always told, you better not say nothing. <laughs> so I was that type of kid at the time. You know what I'm saying? And I learned stuff. Like I said, I ain't going to get on here and tell y'all nothing. I ain't been through, seen, or done. Or, you know, hurt. So my thing is, I just come over here to show awareness of things in this world that people don't really think about. You understand? Or it's, it's, it's people who think about it, but scared to say something about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm on here telling y'all, like, God promised to everybody in the world to have a good life. But people can't see that because they're letting people control what they do and how they do it. Um, a lot of people will be like, how? Think about it. Um, if you're not doing what God asks you to do, it's because you're distracted by something or someone. You know what I'm saying? Or you're not living up to your highest self. Or you don't have the things that you want in life because, like I said, you're distracted by something or someone. And that's what happened when you distracted by something or someone. You ain't living up to your higher self. It's because it's simple. And then you getting jealous of other people or what they got. Or what they doing. And you delaying your blessings by doing that as well. And you got to learn how to check the emotions. And you got to be able to like, damn, why I feel this way? You got to be able to check yourself in different situations. Because you can have, and then on top of that, you can have the wrong type of people around you. And you feel like you're not flourishing in the right way. It's because your blessings ain't for everybody. And you can't take everybody with you. That's cool, though. Like, I done seen people. Check this out, y'all. I didn't have people in my life. Go get your kids a SSI check. Go get your kids an SSI check. You ain't got it right now. Daddy, take care of you and your kids. This, that, and the next. What? Why would I go get my kids an SSI check when I want them to live up to their true potential self? Them SSI checks and those social security checks, that shit ain't shit. That shit ain't shit. That shit is just to hold you back from your true potential of what the fuck you can do in life. And to give you excuses why you can't move the way you move. And guess what? It's controlling you. Because I didn't think that. People be on them checks and be like, I can't do this and I can't do that. The government going, if I do this, uh, the government going to take my check. They going to take my money. So? Fuck. You think about it. Whenever you getting them checks through the first through the 15, them bitches gone. For real, they gone. Excuse my language. Like I said, I still praise God. But at the same time, I still cuss. And he working on me for that. And I pray on it every day. But like I said, through the first through the 15th, them checks gone. And now you worried about how you where your next dollar go come from. Who you could call to borrow something from. Who you can call to borrow some money from. And lo and behold, you hold the power within yourself. Them checks is designed to keep y'all down. 
And just like the projects, living in the projects, it's a stepping stool. So many people become so comfortable when not paying rent, living in the hood, being in everybody's business, and not prospering. And then when they see somebody else getting something, they hate it. Just like them checks. Then you mad when your check gone, you all in somebody else's pockets, what they doing with their money. You can't let me borrow. Then you mad because you can't, somebody can't let you borrow nothing. If you get up and live your ask God to give you purpose and 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 start that business, you ain't gotta wait for a check. Somebody that can whoever this is the thing, whoever controls you, whoever feeds you, they can control you. And that's the truth. Even with welfare, this shit is all an illusion. Y'all gotta go back to back in the days. What we was doing, growing our own food. It wasn't no market. What you think? If they snatch them food stamps away from a lot of people, what y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do then? If they snatch them social security checks up, what y'all gonna do then? Y'all gonna have to go back to the older days. What? Trying to figure that shit out. And that's what y'all need to do. Start figuring shit out. That's how it's supposed to be. But y'all too busy letting somebody control y'all Oh, if they do this and they do that and they take this away and they take this away, how y'all going to survive? It's going to separate from the real hustlers, from the leeches. That's all it's going to do. For real, for real. That's all it do. Y'all can't keep using that shit as an excuse. And then in order to get them checks, you got to do, you got to jump through a loophole. You got to give them all your information. You can't have this. You can't have that. You got to be qualified for this. To, in order to get qualified this, they make you jump through a loophole. And then them doctors don't give a fuck that they getting paid off of those prescriptions that you think the drug pharmaceutical drug companies, what they do? I pay you. Get it to your people. You think they ain't getting paid just to test some drugs out on y'all? And then to keep, they design to keep y'all sick and not even let y'all get to your highest potential self. Because if you get to your highest potential self and you ain't sick no more, you, you're not going to need them. And you're going to stop the money from going to them. Duh. Why you think a lot of people is self-aware? Uh, a lot of a lot of people, you got some people eyes is open and you got some people who still sleep out here. And I'm on here just to open up the people eyes that's out here sleep. It be so hard when you, when your eyes are so open and the people around you be so sleep and you be trying to wake them up. It's just, and then you trying to work on something and you trying to get them to help you work on it, but they can't because they sleep. They sleep. And what, 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 what you doing when you sleep? You can't operate at your highest potential. Some of this shit might go over your head. Some of this shit might you might learn from it. But my thing is, y'all, y'all gotta stay prayed up. And get in them Bibles, read them Bibles. Cause you'll know exactly what's going on in this world. Cause the Bible is gonna tell you exactly what's going on in this world. And I know y'all like, man, I don't wanna read the Bible. This stuff is boring. I used to be the same way. But I had to pray and ask God. God, when I open this Bible, I need you to help me to understand what I'm reading and apply it and let me apply this knowledge to my life. And I ain't get all the way through it, but I'm still reading my Bible. And a lot of stuff has been mind blowing, like, like, wow. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying to y'all is like, get right, get right with the Lord. He going to show you the way. Stop being lazy. Do what you need to do. Stop letting somebody control what the fuck you do and how you do it. No one on this planet is meant to be controlled. Nothing or no one. And if they, like I said, if they feed you, they can control you. So do what you need to do for you. Peace, y'all.